Hello and Happy New Year! Take You Through is back with another video and this time I got to say that the premium leather case that I bought a month ago is not that good as I thought it would be. Therefore, here is the new iPhone 13 Pro Max silicone case. I have to say that I had to return back to the silicone cases because of the square edges this case wore out very quickly and here I can show you how it looks like. Basically this backside feels good but only if you clean it time to time because it becomes sticky and the dirt you can feel it in your hands that you want to wash your hands after using your phone with this case. But the worst part is the edges here. You can see that they turn black and they wear out very quickly. And here you can see these, the sides here. It feels like paper when you touch it. From the inside everything is okay, but the sides here, they collect dust, they collect dirt. And I had leather cases before, but with the 11 Pro and 10 series iPhones, they had rounded edges, not the square ones. Therefore, the leather cases for these iPhones aged much better than this one. Because you are holding this phone like that, all the dust goes here, all the wear goes to these edges. So they got really sticky and it's really not pleasant to hold this luxury case as Apple wants us to believe that it is because of the metallic buttons here and the premium feel is only when you unbox it brand new when you hold it for the first week but not later so therefore i needed a change so i'm filming right now with my iphone 13 pro max and i have to warn you after i filmed this new case unboxing i will need to switch my phones and my secondary iphone is iphone 8 plus so this video will be a camera comparison too, just because I need to put this iPhone 13 Pro Max Sierra Blue iPhone in this Blue Jake silicone case. This year iPhone 13 series didn't had much of the silicone colors that I would really prefer. So I went for this one just because it blends perfectly together, so I hope with the Sierra Blue 13 Pro Max color. Of course, you can go with the darker blue color, so it shows more contrast with the blue color on the case and the lighter blue color inside of the camera. But I went for the light color, so it looks altogether light blue. So the usual stuff you can see, you just need to pull this tab. Like that and open up here. There is the new Blue J color. This is how it looks in this lighting. I will try to film it outside too, so you can see the difference in real life. So let's take it out. And yes, this feels very good and it's really much easier to clean it just with the water. It got dusty when you put it in your jeans or your pants, but it's much easier to use it daily than the leather cases. So you can see more the Apple logo here in the different color. But here the Apple logo is inside the leather material and it has the rubberized silicon keys buttons here compared to the leather case that has the metallic buttons. So now we have to put this camera that I'm filming with inside this new case. So I will switch cameras right now. So don't be shocked, I will film with the iPhone 8 Plus. Here is the new case. And here is the Sierra Blue iPhone 13 Pro Max. In different lighting it looks grayish, gray-blue or maybe even silver. But it has the blue sides, the stainless steel blue sides and the matte finish metallic. But that doesn't matter anymore, so we'll put it in the case. So let's put it inside, it should give us the sound 
and show us the color of the case because of the chip inside of the phone. It doesn't do that. So it feels really nice. You can see the holes here, the microphone and for the speaker, as well as the lighting port is open here. Feels really good. There's the blocking button here and the buttons here and the mute switch area. Nice and clicky. I really like the quality of the cases from the Apple. So I'm happy to return to the silicon case. I think it will be much better to use daily. And here is the view from the back side. So on the camera, it looks even more darker than it is in real life. So the camera is almost gray or white in this lighting. So I'll try my best to give you a video how it looks in the daylight. And this is how the camera is protected. So this is how the new Blue J silicon case looks in the daylight. That is what you can expect by using it every day. So you can see that the iPhone 13 Pro Max color is more grayish than blue. And this blue color on the case looks a little bit lighter in the daylight as it looks inside So altogether, I think that the Sierra Blue iPhone color goes very good together with this J Blue silicon case. So I hope you liked this video, and if you consider buying this J Blue silicon case for your iPhone 13 Pro or 13 Pro Max, I hope you will now be sure if you like it or not by seeing this video. And thank you for supporting this channel. An easy way to support this channel is by clicking subscribe clicking the bell icon so you never miss out any future videos like this one. Once again, happy new year, stay healthy, be happy and let's meet in the next video of Tech You Through.